Hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. Welcome to our Sundays with Summit Health. Just wanted to... I hope I'm in the right place. We should be good. We should be good. Today, we're going to chat about traveling. A lot of you guys have been on spring break or some sort of fun spring vacation. You're coming home and we're trying to get back in the groove. Some of you are crushing it and other people are kind of struggling. A week of not being in the groove is turning into two weeks, is turning into three weeks. And so what we're going to do is cover some simple tips that we can do when we are on vacation to get back right where we want to be when we get home. Okay, so first thing we want to do is focus on three things that tend to be low when we're on vacation. We want to focus on fiber, we want to focus on hydration, and we want to focus on protein. Again, those are things that generally can be low when we're on vacation. We're not always eating a ton of fibrous fruits and veggies. Generally, we might not be hydrating as much. Maybe we are traveling and so we don't want to be stopping at the bathroom all the time, or maybe we're on an airplane, same thing. Maybe we didn't bring our water bottle with us. And so for that reason, we're not hydrating as much protein. If we are not planning, prepping, or being super intentional, it is really, really challenging for us to eat enough protein. So these three things tend to be really low. So when you get home, first thing you want to do is focus on how can I get more fiber? Plan your meals out so that they're full of healthy vegetables, great fruits that are super fibrous, um, maybe some whole grain oats or some fantastic avocados. All those things can be really, really great options. Start tracking your water, whether it's, I want to drink three water bottles in the day, whatever it is, set a target and start tracking that. Thirdly, track your protein, plan it out. I know what I need to eat in a day to hit my protein goal based on what meals I have prepped, based on what I want my snacks to be and what my pre and post workouts going to be. So plan it out. That leads me into my next sort of plan of action for you. And that is, it can be really hard to get back on track. If someone, if someone is tracking, if they are meeting their goals by tracking their food in my fitness pal, it can be hard to get back in that routine because on vacation, maybe likely you didn't track. How do we get back in the groove? I would say pre-plan a day. Sorry about that. My internet connection is being a little sketchy. Um, Pre-plan and track your day. I just had a client do this for a retreat that she hit over the weekend, did a fantastic job. Um, but that is that is the number one way for all of us to reach our goals. Our most successful clients pre-plan their day, whether they're tracking in my fitness pal or whether they're using the hand method. They still think about what am I having for breakfast? What am I having for lunch? What am I having for dinner? What do my snacks need to look like in order for me to hit those goals? So pre-plan it. Literally, we just did this with my meal prep with my mom. We pre-tracked her Monday and she's going to make every following day look very, very similar. So um, next thing I would say is order groceries on your way home. We were vacationing with a girlfriend. I said, who is open? I don't know what day it was or something was interesting with her schedule. She's like, they're going to be close. Oh, it was what time her flight got in. The only store that was open that did grocery pickup was Whole Foods. So she got online. She ordered grocery pickup from, from Whole Foods because she had nothing in her fridge. And she knew if she was going to go home and be successful, she needed to have food in her fridge. So order grocery pickup, grab it, and at least you have something, right? Get the basics. From there, meal prep. Prep some protein, throw some food on the grills, throw something in the Instapot, put something in the oven. Whatever it takes to just have some basics prepped is going to help you so much. If you don't have time to do that, order power plate. You know, get it in the freezer maybe before you go on vacation, get some Hello Fresh, fresh ready to be delivered. Whatever is going to help you have good quality meals when you get home. That's exactly what we're looking for. The other thing that happens is on vacation, we eat out a lot more and we get home and we don't want to eat out. And yet we don't have food prepped. We don't. So plan ahead, you know, plan ahead. So you have some great options. Let's see. The other thing that I would say is plan your workouts. That's the other thing that can be hard to get in a routine of is getting back to the gym, especially if we've been on vacation for a week, two weeks, 10 days. It can be really hard to get back in the routine of things. So pre-schedule and plan your workouts. Sign up for class, you know, call a friend and say, hey, it's a little bit challenging for me to get to the gym right now and to get back in the routine. Can we commit to going together three times this week? What 
call your coach. Say, hey, if I'm not here, I need you to reach out to me and just help me get my butt to the gym this week. Whatever it takes, focus on that accountability. Secondly, the thing that tends to happen to some people when they come home for vacation is either they experience some GI distress, you know, maybe they had some upset stomach, a little bit of bloating, maybe some constipation or a little bit of diarrhea. These things can be normal, especially when we're eating more rich food or foods that we're not used to. We've got a lot of clients who have some gluten intolerances or some dairy intolerances and those things we may be exposed to when we're not used to eating them. So number one, if you're coming home with some like loose stools or some issues there, clean it up. That's the one thing that I would say. And honestly, I come home from vacation and I generally crave a lot of carbs. I crave sugar. I crave like highly palatable foods, um, really salty things because I've been eating out of the ordinary food. I've been eating out a lot more. I've probably been eating dessert. I've been drinking alcohol. So the first thing I try to do is clean it up clean it up. I eliminate the alcohol. I eliminate the sugar. I eliminate the processed carbs. And within three to four days, my palate is reset and I enjoy the food that I have at home because I'm not so used to the extra lots of sugars, lots of salty, you know, high fat, rich foods. So if we're coming home and those have created some distress, that's what's going to help clean it up. Again, focus on lean proteins, some complex complex carbohydrates, you know, squashes, whole grain oats, like rice, um, potatoes, sweet potatoes, those things are fantastic. And then secondly, if we're constipated, introduce perhaps some magnesium, make sure you're hydrating really well. And then again, increase that fiber. Just a couple simple tips for you guys so that when you head on vacation, not only can you enjoy your vacation, knowing that you're going to come home and be right back in the groove to crush things, but if you're struggling, you're not alone. We've all been there and it can be a challenge to get back in the routine. So just wanted to provide you with some simple tips and tricks to do just that. I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. We'll chat with you soon.